Welcome to the year-end edition of What's New at SRJC. As I reflect back on this year, we've had to wear many hats and masks in order to accommodate our students. And you know what? That can be quite maddening, but I'm so proud of what we've been able to accomplish as a community for our students, staff, faculty, administrators, and trustees, and our community. SRJC continues to deliver our quality services to our community. We have faced many challenges during the pandemic, but we banded together to work to serve our students and our, keep our community safe. We're also providing thousands of vaccination shots to students and employees through the great work of Rebecca Norwick and our Student Health Center. As a result of our high vaccination rates, our vaccine requirement and the implementation of numerous safety protocols We'll be returning more classes than ever live in the spring of 2022. So tell all your friends to come back to SRJC. We'll be ready for you. This wouldn't have been possible without the hard work of our safety monitors who've done everything they can to keep the entire community safe. So thank you safety monitors for your great work. Our Public Safety Training Center in Windsor, California has continued to provide essential training in police, fire, emergency medical technicians during the pandemic. And we're also graduating our 100th Fire Academy, quite a milestone for this wonderful program. This training program and many others at the Public Safety Training Center provides essential workforce training to keep our county safe and our uh, residents safe from all of the natural disasters and other tragedies that can beset a community. Thank you, our Public Safety Training Center, for keeping Sonoma County safe. As we gradually return to campus, I'm happy to report that all of our athletic teams are now participating fully in sports and our spectators are back as long as they're vaccinated. Our basketball, football, tennis, volleyball, and cross country teams and softball teams are all gonna be playing this year. So please come out and support our Bear Cubs. I'm also super excited to welcome our incredible theater arts department back. We're gonna have production starting in the spring with the curious incident of the dog in the nighttime and the musical The Wedding Singer <laughs> in our renowned Burbank Auditorium. Come one, come all. Our incredible team at Schoen Farm hasn't slowed down a bit. We continue this year to win a double gold for our Pinot Noir Schoen Farm wines at the Sonoma Harvest Festival. And we also continue to offer one of a kind hemp cannabis programs at the, pro at the Schoen Farm. We are also making great progress on our Measure H projects. For example, our Lindley Center for STEM Education has been framed out and it's slated for completion in the fall of 2023. The Welcome Center at SRJC Petaluma has just been completed and it's fabulous. And finally, the multi-purpose room at the Public Safety Training Center has been completed. I'd also like to uh, announce that our student housing project is well underway with the completion to be in the fall of 2023 when we'll be checking in students. I want to thank the Student Housing Group for all their hard work in making this vision a reality. I'm also pleased to report that SRJC has received numerous grants and awards this past year. Amongst them and highlighting them is the nearly $5 million Hispanic Serving Institution grant. The, also we received a million dollars from Kaiser for student housing a $500,000 from Kaiser again, and the County of Sonoma for our wildfire resiliency program out at Schoen Farm. We received $400,000 for our new Olympic-sized aquatic center. And finally, $400,000 for the construction center at the Petaluma campus, thanks to the generous donations from Bank of America, Mendocino Companies, and Freedman's Home Improvement. I'm now at liberty to announce the appointment of two new trustees for Santa Rosa Junior College. The first being Caroline Benuelos, who represents Santa Rosa. And representing the West County, the home of the Gravenstein Apple, is trustee Dr. Michael Valdesvinos. I believe these two trustees are great additions to our college and leadership to shepherd us into a great 2022. Whose idea was this? <laughs> As Charles Dickens said in A Tale of Two Cities, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. And during this past year, when we have had such challenging times, I couldn't think of a better group of people to be with 
that our students, faculty, staff, administrators, and trustees, and all of our community support. I also want to thank the Theater Arts Department for providing me these great props for this video. As we enter the holiday season and winter break, I want to thank all of you for all the hats that you all have worn this year. And I also want to say, Happy Holidays, Happy holidays. SR, SRJC!